Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will continue with my Christmas ornaments and I will make my ornaments out of book pages. I will repurpose an old book that has fallen apart literally and they turned out beautiful. So let's get DIYing. I have five ornaments for you today. Open your heart. And I have this book that is literally falling apart. And for this project, I need a one page. And I'm, instead of uh, cutting it into strips, I will tear it into strips because I want that vintage feel to it. So I have strips like that and I will tear six of them. And I also need a piece of jute string, the thinner one there, to make a hanger. So I start off by uh, putting the hanger into place, hot gluing it in, in between two of the pieces. And then I glue two more pieces on each side. So I have three on each side. like so and now I take the first two one from each side and make a loop and it will create a small heart like that and then the next pair will be a little bigger And the last pair even bigger so you have some space in between the hearts and it will look like that then I just cut the excess off and uh, to trim it a little bit I decided to uh, cut off the lower part there in an angle and voila, it's done. Vintage Christmas ball. And for that, I am using this styrofoam ball and I will just poke a hole. And in that hole, I will put a piece of jute twine that I just tie together like so and uh, I dab a piece of hot glue in the hole and then just push the jute twine into place and that will be a perfect hanger for my Christmas ball and when done I take more of these straps that I have tiered from the book pages and I will hot glue them from the top to the bottom like that and uh, I will continue until the ball is completely covered. This video is also part of a challenge, repurposed book pages challenge. And it is hosted by Catherine at A Perfect Place to Start. And her co-host is Kimo at Kimocraft. If you're not familiar with their channels, be sure to jump on over right after this video and check out what they have to offer. I will leave links to the channels down in my description box, as well as to the playlist of this challenge, so you can get loads of inspiration. 
To give my ornament a nicer finish, I will wrap around some jute twine, hot glue it into place on the top there as you see me do. And I will finish it off with the Marika Curl. I just dab a tiny bit of hot glue and press the jutwine into place. Just swirl it and hot gluing it. I decided I didn't want the lower part uh, to be like that so I just teared the strips off and then I started hot gluing it into place and then finish it off just like on the top with the dew twine wrapped around. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do a lot of thrifting, DIY, decorating, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. As you see me do here, I decided to embellish my ornament with some cute jingle bells. And I made a larger ornament in the same fashion and I embellished that one with some greenery and the red berry. angels to exist and for this ornament I need two book pages and I will fold them um, back and forth like you see me do here like so and that will be the accordion effect and I will do that to both of the pages And on one of them, right in the middle, I will cut a slit half way through. And it will look like that. And on the other one, I will cut it much higher up. Then you can just put them together and it will be a snug fit and there you will have the beginning of my angel. A tiny bit of hot glue and I put them together and then I will spread the dress and the wings and I will glue the pages together like you see me do there. And I will do the same on top with the head there. Then I just need a piece of jute twine as a hanger and I will hot glue that into place on the back side of the angel so it won't show. And then she is ready. A gift for you. I have these wooden cubes that I will wrap in a book page. I just figure out how large I want it and I tear it to size. Uh, 
a type of hot glue and then just fold it like you do with the uh, gift package hot glue and on the other side before I hot glue that into place I take a piece of jute twine for my hanger and will hot glue that into place like so and then I take a thicker piece of jute twine and wrap around it like a small gift and I will make a cute little bow You can of course also wrap it in a burlap ribbon, lace ribbon or a, anything of your choice really. And I decided to embellish my little gift with some berries. Then it's all done, like so. Super cute. Message to the world. And for this ornament, I need, yeah, you guessed it, a book page. And I started out by folding it uh, and cutting it to size so I create a square. And from there on, I fold the the sides like that and then the lower part it's better just to watch what i'm doing i think and uh, maybe you see already what that will become an envelope I'm just folding the top part and the envelope is ready and a piece of ute string for that that I will hot glue into place inside like so there you go now it's time for the message and I'm tearing a piece that is a good size for me and my envelope and now I'm taking just a a sharpie, a black one, and I spell out the words I need to write, one word on each of these pieces of paper. And my word for this one is peace. I'm filling out the letters a little bit so they will pop and be more legible and prettier of course I'm done I just tuck it into the envelope and keep it opened and uh, there it is and you can totally stop here but before I show you what I did as a little extra, I will show you another of my messages and I did that one in red. I decided to go for red and black with my messages because that fits right into my decor. And this word, as you can see, is magic. We all need a bit of magic in our lives. And now for the extra, I have this sealing wax and a stamp. And I will put a little bit on that. Even though I have the envelope open, it will give it a nice vintage look. So just be careful with the fire. It's very, very hot, so pay attention there it is the first one and I have it in red and I have it also in gold and 
and here you can see it a little better with the two hearts. It's a nice touch, I think. I want the world to be full of freedom, magic, beauty, respect, peace, love, and joy. And here is my Christmas tree and I will show you where I have hung the ornaments. A message of love. Tell me what you think of my book page ornaments. Did you have a favorite? I know my favorite are these messages. I think it's so important and I think they look super cute in my Christmas tree. Leave me a comment down below. I so appreciate all of your comments. And if you like this video and videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button as well for more inspiration. I will leave a link in my description box for the playlist of Christmas ornaments as well as to Christmas inspiration overall. Thank you so very much for watching and I see you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.